what God just said. Did you read that? God just said, I will not remember your sin. I don't know why in the world your whole focus is out of one sin. You ain't living, you're not using your faith, you're not achieving the things of God because you're trying to qualify for what you're already qualified for. He's already made you meet to be a partaker in the inheritance of the saints. You are already qualified for everything that's in heaven. All you need to do is use your faith to get it. You cannot disqualify yourself and the preacher can't disqualify you. Can I tell somebody a secret here this morning? I don't want to get mad at me, but please, I'm an apostle of Jesus Christ and I know what my charge is. If you're in the church where they're holding you back from ministry because they don't, they don't like your lifestyle or they don't like who you live with or they don't like, leave. That is not the heart of God. Leave. That is not the heart of God. Because nobody will be able to preach if God was expecting perfection from you. I would be disqualified. You know how I can tell you I'm married. So you know if you're married, you have said some things in the HSO. You all ain't gonna be able to try to say me. You know if you're married, you have said some things where they done got on your nerve. You have thought some things. I just went by and say it took the wrong hand. You, you know if you're married. I wish somebody say amen. Some of y'all said it on the way coming to church. I just wish you'd shut up. You ain't say she, you use it. Amen. So, so. <laughs> if you make me say amen. God said, I want to set you free. And this is not my message. See, this is what I love about the Holy Ghost. God is planning this message for faithful servants of his. I want you to hear the voice of the Lord. God promised you. I'm not going to deal with your sin. Now, I didn't promise you that. That's why you got to know the difference between relationships. I'm, I may deal with you on sin. Because you lie to me, I'm going to get upset. Because you're sinning against me. Oh, come on now. You have to understand the difference in the relationship. I might get mad, but God's not going to get mad. Because he already took his anger out on Jesus for you. He was wounded for your transgression, bruised for your iniquity. The just tied of your peace was upon him. And with his strength, you are healed. So when you step into Christ, God sees you as totally perfect. And if you say, say amen. If you say, say amen. I'm going to make you free. If you say, say amen. God can't get angry with you no more. If he gets angry with you, then he's a liar. And if he's a liar, then you don't need to be in church. Is that too grown for y'all? Here's what we do. We, 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 got, we got to get some medicine for God. Because we introduce people to a Bible of God. Yeah, that's what we do in church. Oh, y'all, let me try to say it. Here's what we do. We go to the streets and say, come. The Lord wants you to come. Man, I can't come here, preacher. I said, I got these cigarettes. I'm, no, no, no. Come. Just whosoever will. Come just as you are. Whosoever. We got all the right things. But the minute they get in church for two weeks, you tell them, you're going to hell for them cigarettes. <laughs> y'all ain't ready for them. The first thing we do, we see. So I'm wondering what kind of God y'all serve. If he loves me to tell me to come to where I'm at, how are you going to punish me for being who I am? Let me tell you, you married that woman and you know who she was. Stop trying to make a change now that you're bringing a paycheck in the house. I'm getting to somebody with it. You knew she didn't talk to your mama told you she don't know how to talk. Now you're going to come and get mad because she's shit. The devil is a lie. You knew she was lazy when you married her. So why you get mad now because the bed ain't made up and you come shut your mouth and enjoy your wife? I'm going to have somebody in this morning. You need to give yourself a break. You knew who you married when you married her. Don't think you can change nobody, baby. That's God's job. You know exactly who that man was when you married him. If he had another good from him, you married him. Don't think he's going to put away just because he put a ring on his face. All the sisters say amen. All the sisters say amen. I don't know what's wrong with yes you do. You saw the numbers on his phone before you got married. Why do you think the numbers gonna disappear just because you get all the all the time? Yo, man, get me out of here. I gotta get out of here with shit. That's how we're gonna right now. Give yourself a break. Love whom you marry. Love whom you with. Look, they gonna be human, baby. They don't have to slide from you to smoke their cigarette. They all. Oh.
If you're still with me, say amen. amen. The thing about it is that God accepts them. The problem is you and I don't. Somebody say amen. amen. Because when you step into Christ, God sees you as holy, unblameable, and unreprovable. I want you to understand the heart of God this morning. You won't waste your life trying to measure up for God to accept you. You cannot do it in behavior. And he knew it. That's why he sent Jesus to die for you. He knew that you was going to mess up. That's why he said sins and iniquities. Can I break it down and tell you what iniquity is? Because after your sin is forgiven, you still have a lot of iniquity. Iniquity is your own self-will. That's all it means. Self-will. So God said, I'm, I'm going to forgive you right now for that stuff you can do tomorrow.
you're never going to be free. I'm going to preach it.